today we're going to be drawing a cute little lemon on procreate or actually little lemon friends so we're going to get started today i started with an actual photo of a lemon the shape of a lemon is quite strange so i found a picture on google i saved it to my photos and then when i opened my procreate i opened that lemon photo so that i could kind of trace it and get the shape of the lemon that i'm looking for so I'm going to start by adding a layer up here. When you click on these two squares, you can hit the plus line and add a layer to your artwork. But I'm going to go back to that first layer and click with two fingers. This will help me change the opacity when I drag my finger to the right or left. I can turn down the opacity or the translucence so that I can see the lemon a little less while I'm tracing it. If you want to see it a little more. You can slide the opacity up. I think I'm gonna pull it down to eh, maybe 30, 40, 50%. It really doesn't matter exactly where you set the opacity. And then you can go back to layer two. Layer two will show you it's blue so that you know you're working in that specific layer. Once you have that selected, you can make sure that you have a black color on your pen. You can select by moving this uh, circle around the color wheel and the color that is selected will be up here in the top right corner. And then I'm going to select my brush. I'm going to be using a monoline brush under brushes. That's in the calligraphy brush library under monoline. I also set my monoline brush streamline. That's the second stroke property here. I move the streamline all the way up to 100%. That means it's going to be reading my motions and really following along with exactly what I'm trying to draw. If I turn the streamline down, you can see it's a little more jittery. So streamline is just going to make your letters a little neater or your tracing a little bit nicer. So there's that. All right, so we're going to move on to start tracing our lemon. Make sure you're in layer two. I do like to zoom in sometimes when I trace, so you could always pinch um, in and out to zoom if you need to, and then we can get started. So I'm just gonna start by taking my time and making a nice neat angle here. I did want to get these bumps out of my picture, so what I did here is I just brought it around and I held it for a second, hold, and then it'll give you a nice neat arch. If you end up making a mistake, you can always tap with your two fingers to make it disappear, or you can tap with three fingers to make it reappear. So undo is two fingers, redo is three fingers. There you go, it's like magic, huh? <laughs> and then we'll add the tippy top here. This one will be a little harder to hold and make a nice shape. It might turn it into a square or something. So I think I'm just gonna try my best here. To try it on my own and hold maybe for this one you can see right in this little corner it didn't turn out so nice and neat but I'm just gonna erase it and then take my monoline brush and smooth it out a little bit it worked out pretty good so then I'm gonna move on to the shape of this open lemon I'm just gonna try a nice neat oval or circle shape and hold to make it even neater there we go and you can see here, it didn't work out perfectly in this little corner, so I'm just gonna erase that. Zoom down to here and just kind of uh, make your lines a little bit neater and smoother. Give it that flawless touch. All right, and next is just the back of my lemon. So take your time tracing. You can always pause my videos if you need to and return to them when you're ready um, with the traced product. That is fine as well. So there we go, we have some tracings ready to go and then next we're going to start adding some color so I am going to start adding color to this layer layer two that I'm working in and I want to select a lemon color so I think I'm going to hmm if you want an exact lemon color I can show you a little trick but there are plenty of different yellows of course here yellows gold um, light yellow if you want an exact lemon color you can go back to layer one and turn your opacity all the way up and hold to select the color of this lemon. 
So just double tap on your layer one, slide the opacity all the way to 100%, and then you can click and hold on the lemon color you like. If you see where you click and hold, there's a lighter highlight here. There's a darker shadow down here. So if you like those colors, you can select those. Maybe in this darker shadow, oh, see that's really dark down there. That's like a mustard or a brown almost. I think I'm just gonna make a little color palette up here. So there was my shadow. Maybe here's just regular lemon color. Maybe here's the highlight, which is like a lighter yellow. See, I'm making a little color palette, just like an artist would put paint on a palette. We're making a little color palette up here. And this is almost like white for this. Oh yeah, look at that, it's like a tan. Oops, I made a big line down here. All right, so we are gonna move on to layer two and we're gonna start coloring. So I think I'm gonna bring that opacity back down in a minute because in layer two, I wanna be able to select from my color palette. So I'm gonna go with that um, basic lemon color. So when you click and hold on your basic lemon color, it should select it up here in the corner in your color wheel options. So just hold and press on that lemon color we selected. Now let's see how it turns out. Ooh, that's a little lighter than I was expecting. So I might try this other yellow. Oh yeah, I like that. That is the lemon color I'm looking for. <laughs> there you go. And if that uh, palette didn't work out for you, you could always just select a different yellow here. Sometimes I even like to just go by, what I have right now is this, um, let me select it up there, this yellow, and it's a mustardy yellow, and I like to just move it a little bit further down until I see a shadowy yellow. See this shadowy yellow? I think I might use that for my shadow, that's an option. And then when I slide it up a little more, there's a lighter yellow, kind of like that for a highlight. So we'll see how that turns out. We're going to add another layer in here so that we can make some shadows. We're gonna make some shadows. Oops, and I forgot to fill in this portion in layer two. So make sure, I filled it in with a lighter yellow just because it's the open portion of the lemon. So in layer two, don't forget to fill in the center of your lemon. I know it covered up those important lines that we want to trace out, but I do have a little trick for that, so don't worry. All right, so let's add some highlights and shadows in here, and then we'll add some eyes, a face, and all those cute details. So in layer three, layer three here, we're gonna make some shadows. So I'm gonna take that uh, darker yellow that I selected on my color wheel. So you can always find a darker yellow. And I'm gonna change up my brush setting here. So I'm gonna go over to charcoals. Let's try some charcoals. I like the 4B compressed, but you can really try any of these, like the 6B, 4B. I think maybe we'll just try a 6B. It's a little wider for a big picture. You can select your brush size. You can see this would be a quite large brush. So I'm gonna undo that. I'm gonna move it down a little more. And you can select the opacity down in this toggle option. So this is brush size up here, and this is opacity. You can choose whatever feels comfortable for you. Maybe even just give it a try. Here's some highlight, look at that. Just one little brush stroke, like a little rainbow, and it gives it a beautiful highlight. I think that looks great. I really like it. So my brush there was at about a 35 size and a 70 opacity, and I'm on the six be compressed um, charcoal. And that's just an option to show you what it kind of look like. And then I'm gonna do some more with the shadow color. So I'm gonna select that um, darker mustard color in my color wheel. And I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm gonna try it down here. I might move my brush size down because I'm gonna try to draw it pretty close to the edge here and give a nice shadow on the bottom, kind of like it's sitting on the ground so it has a little shadow down there and the highlights coming from the top. There we go, that gives us a nice little shadow. And I bet this one would have a shadow too, so I'm probably gonna just start filling this in a little bit in the back. There might even be a little highlight on this one, so if you want to try a little highlight, you can. Gonna mix it up a little bit. Whatever you think looks good. I mean, you are the artist today, so you get to decide you can zoom in, you can erase or undo if you need to. 
there's no exact science to it. Just have fun and try some new um, skills today. Try something different that you haven't tried before. There we go, it's looking pretty cool. I like it so far. All right, so let's try, I think I'm even gonna put a little more white in here. Oh yeah, that looks great. I think I just need a little lighter of a highlight in this one. So, you know, you just gotta play around with it and see what works for you. It's different for everybody. And if you think that the highlights go somewhere else, that's fine, you can put the highlights somewhere different. If you need to erase um, any parts, you can also do that. Or you can take that yellow that we were using with a charcoal and just kind of blend over it. If your highlights or your shadows are too strong, just go in with a yellow charcoal and kind of smooth that out a little bit. Yeah, looking good, huh? All right, we're gonna add some lines and some eyes. And if your shadows and highlights are just way too much, that's in layer three. So we can tap layer three and pull the opacity of the highlights and shadows down or all the way up. I think heavy shadows and highlights are great. So I'm gonna leave mine at 100, but it's totally up to you. Next, we are going to be making the lines in the lemon and some eyes. So let's add a layer. We should have four layers now. And I'm going to select a very light, maybe even a white for these um, lines in the lemon. And I'm going to find that charcoal. I think I'm gonna use a 4B, it's just a little thinner. And around the whole lemon, we have a very, very light tracing around the outline of the lemon. That's a little bit too big. Let's try. Maybe I'll pick a brighter white because it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, there we go. So there's a big circle around the whole lemon. So I'm just going to kind of trace out that whole shape. Remember, if you make any mistakes, you can always turn the opacity of this layer four down. You can see mine's kind of running into my black lines, which is fine. We can fix that. That's fixable. I just take my eraser. I pick a very small eraser about the same size as the monoline brush that I use for the black and I kind of just go and clean that up here. This is the cleanup crew brush, <laughs> the little eraser. And I just clean up over those black lines. So that I don't have them showing too much. Oh, those were probably from layer three. So you can always go back to, <clears throat> excuse me, layer three and you can clean up lines from layer three or four. See that one? Yeah, I just kind of wanted to make it a little tidier. You can see it just overlaps slightly. And honestly, nobody might even notice that, but it's just a little skill for you to know. See, it's confusing now because we made a second layer, so, or layer four. So you might just want to go in and clean up all the layers when you are ready at some point. Here we go. All right, let's add a few lines across this lemon slice. I'm gonna go back to my mono line brush in calligraphy, one of my favorites. It's still set on full streamline 100%. And I'm going to draw some straight lines. So I know that the lemon line just goes all the way down. If the white's too much, you can always select a lighter um, white or you can bring the opacity down. I think I'm gonna bring the opacity down and I'm gonna bring the brush size down. And I'm just lightly gonna draw a slice right down the middle and hold to get a nice, neat line. Perfect. And then across the center, drag, drag, and hold. Ooh, perfect. So just like a pizza, I'm cutting these slices right through, drag, and hold. And drag, and hold. There you go. Oh, that's looking good. All right, I love that. And if it's too bright, just click on your layer that you made and you can bring the opacity of all the white down or up, whatever you decide. I think it'll be fine at 100 um, or even a little less because we are gonna be putting some eyes over this in the next layer. So I should have a layer five by now. And I'm going to start adding some kawaii eyes. Now, if you're just done with your lemon and you don't want the eyes, oh, I forgot some seeds. Let's go back to layer four and do some seeds. Um, so let's go back to a charcoal. Let's see, how about a charcoal um, 4B? And we're gonna make it really small, like 4%. And I'll show you what these little seeds can turn out like. 
maybe even smaller than that. So for the seeds, I like to just do little seeds or little ovals just to give it that dimension because when the eyes come in, these are gonna be a nice little shadow in the background. So these are just the little veins or the seeds in the lemon. They're kind of like long ovals, about the size of a grain of rice, imagine. Yeah, so they're just a little background detail. Almost forgot about. But it does really make it look more lemony, see? Awesome, that's so cool. Look at that, I love it. All right, go back to layer five. Let's start the eyes. This is a really cool little trick here. I like to go back to my monoline brush in the calligraphy setting, and I select a black. And then I'm going to make these cute kawaii eyes. So I'm gonna turn and twist this first lemon here, and I'm going to hold. It wasn't a perfect circle, but if you tap once with your finger while you're holding, you will get a perfect circle. See, it's kind of an oval, so I'm gonna tap with my finger, hold, and then I can expand or enlarge, or I can make it a little smaller for this eye. So I'm gonna go about there, and then I'm gonna make an eye that's slightly hiding behind this lemon. And I'm gonna tap to get a nice circle until they're about symmetrical and hold. There you go. And then you can just drag and color fill your color. Whoopsie. This one is not filling. If you have that problem, if it color filled the whole page, just finish off your semicircle here and drag and drop. Look at that, so cute. Let's do some eyes on this one. I'm also gonna twist it. And I'm gonna do a circle hold, tap to get a circle, like tap with your finger if you have an oval, and then a circle, hold, tap to get a circle, and make them about the same size. Good, I got a little dot in there, but it's okay. And we'll drag the black color and fill and color fill that circle. Look how cute already. All right, we're gonna do some smileys and pupils and cheeks and all those cute kawaii designs. That just means cute in Japanese. It's an art style. I'm gonna select a black and I'm going to make a small curve and hold to get a smile. Look how cute, right between the eyes. A small curve, hold. Oh, look at that, adorable. All right, let's give these little guys some pupils. They're kind of scary right now. So I'm gonna select a white. You can go back to your color wheel or you could just press and hold on the white background. That'll select a white for you. And we're gonna do some pupils. So I'm gonna make another circle. I'm gonna press and I'm holding with the marker or the pencil and color fill. You can see it didn't color fill the whole um, circle there. So I'm just gonna fill it in with my marker. No worries if that happens. And then I'm gonna make a little shiny right under there like this. I'm gonna circle, hold, press. Oh, so nice. Oh, I think I have the opacity turned down. So if that happened for you, I was thinking these are a little gray. That's because my brush opacity is a little bit low. So I'm gonna try that again on full opacity for my brush. Hold, so cute. And same thing, just fill the rest in. And circle and hold and press. Good. These are great skills. Anytime you're drawing now, you're gonna be able to utilize these awesome, awesome skills. I hope you enjoy them. I hope they're helpful for you. I think I'm gonna draw this one kind of like a semicircle. You can see here, press and hold. Good. And Phil, color Phil. Maybe his name is Phil. <laughs> we should call him Phil. What's the other lemon's name? You can comment and let me know what you named your lemons. Oh, so cute. Okay, let's make another little shiny down here and press and hold and color Phil. That one was kind of gray. So cute. Let's move on to this little guy. Um, maybe maybe this one's gonna be a girl. I think I'm gonna name them Phil and Amy. I like that, Phil and Amy. All right, let's make another eye here. Circle, hold, press to make a circle. And color fill. If you're ever like, oh, that pupil just wasn't big enough, you can undo, undo. Or look at this, you can just draw another circle around it. Press, hold, press with your finger and enlarge it. 
draw, hold, press. There we go. It's getting easier and easier, I'm sure, every time you draw a circle. I love making these perfect shapes. Circle, hold, press. And color fill, or Amy. <laughs> so cute. And last little shiny, a circle, hold, press to make a circle, and size it up to the other one. Color fill, <laughs> color Amy. All right, there we go. I think we just need some little cheeks on here. So I'm gonna select a pink. I scroll over to the pink color wheel and I like to pull it over just a tad from white to light pink. I like the really light pink colors for cheeks. And then right below my eyes, you could just make a circle, hold, press with your finger and color fill. If it's too light, you can always go a little darker. You know, whatever works. And then we're going to circle on this side, hold, press to make a circle, and color fill. I think that one got a little bit bigger than the other, so I'm gonna make this one a little bigger too. Very cute, aren't they? And then on this side, same thing, just circle, hold, press with your finger. That little press will just give you a perfect circle and bring this one. I think I'm gonna do a semicircle over here because it's kind of hiding. So that might be a little tricky. This one's kind of hiding back here. So I'm gonna do a semicircle hold and then fill it. That one's a little tricky. And if you get any weird lines, just take your eraser in and thin it up there if you need to. Just zoom, zoom, zoom. There you go. Look at how cute. Okay, to see the final product, just tap on this top corner up here. I'm going to remove layer one, which was my original lemon. So if you ended up having an original lemon, you can remove that. If you remove the background color, you'll see what's really truly there. And if you had a color palette, you can always go to the layer that has the palette. Mine was in layer two. And you can erase those so they're kind of hidden. And there's your cute kawaii lemon art. Look how precious. I love them. Well, I hope you had fun today. Great work. And I hope you learned some new skills that'll help you in your Procreate journey. All right. See you soon. Thanks for joining.